hopefully somebody is going to be hauling a slab over here and we'll put one of our ghosts to rest so I'm guessing he's listed under other yeah I nod I'll get you taken care of buddy no biggie here I can get these turned into bedrooms that'll help a bit I did engrave it already. We did that just a little bit ago at the this crafting station here. So, and then we press X so we can find it by name. So he's installing it, and the ghost has been put to rest. So that's good because eventually, at some point, he'll end up a murderous ghost and probably slaughtering us all in our sleep. Okay, we're still waiting on the last piece of Lazul to be used up. is almost done. Now clean up a little bit more of our stockpile. And a vile force of darkness has arrived. What is it this time? Military alert. Red alert. Okay, who and where? Blend X. No. Oh yeah, blend X. Let's see. Single front, good. Let's see what you guys are packing. Uh, the inventory. You are wearing Bithmus bronze. Well, we'll be melting all that down and turning it into chairs. All right. Let's see how fast you guys get. Come on, putrid Blendek. Let's see what you're made of. Why do you think I can do this? Oh, don't tell me you guys are just going to hang out there. Come on. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. No. Just not gonna do it. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Sorry, sir, I can't it's bronze. Definitely know I'm not gonna be able to send one guy out there to take him. There'll just be too many. Yes, I'm aware we're going to have 150 million canceled jobs, but what are you going to do? D X. We're going to nuke our tree job out here then. So that's spammed every five seconds. This is an awful lot of bones. What do we got here? Yeah, skulls. Damn you. Totem. 30. Let's do this. Dig. Boom. And we're going to put just a itty bitty stockpile right over here of some trade goods that we're always going to trade. We'll put totems. That'll be our export. We'll kill them, then we'll process them. Yes, I'll do it, but no, I don't think I can. Oh, blind decks are moving. 
Come on, guys. It's not that hard. You can do it. We're waiting for you. Now, if I remember right, I think Blendex are trap avoid. Not certain, but I think they're trap avoid. One of them are. I think it might be also the Ferric Elves. I can't remember. Fortifications do not support things, right? Oh, uh, how is the main area roof supported? By the stairs. That one little spot is holding up the roof. Uh, they do su uh, provide support from underneath for fortifications, by the way. They just don't have a floor on top. So. Alrighty, hopefully our patrols get something done here. and fingers. Looks like we got one guy going upstairs. Nope, I'm just going to stop. Alright, here's where we find out if they're trap avoid or not. Yep, blend XR. Military, squad, F, move. Okay. Moving the assault team into position. Squad B, D, and E move. We'll put the bulk of you right here. Hopefully, the dogs can hold them off. Bias the necessary time. Dogs are doing their job. guys here though. because all your pet dogs died. Well, we're losing the fight here. We already have one dead dwarf. And our assault team is nowhere to be seen. Military. What's our assault team guy's name? Commander. Standing between us and certain death. Hmm, I actually got some guys shooting. That's a plus. going well. Our main offensive dwarf is not moving into position. He is not even bothering. Come on. He's almost in our base. He's up in our base killing our dudes.
We have a tunnel of carnage full of dead dogs. Four blend decks coming into the base. And our main assault dwarf is not doing anything. thing. He's killed one blend deck. Looks like he's getting his butt kicked though. just lit on fire. Looks like the Blendex, when they die, burn. Squad. F. Kill list. We need D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Your job isn't done, you need to kill a lot of people here. Oof. I think that was our commander. miserable, but you're still uninjured. Incurring heavy losses. off a of station duty, otherwise we're never going to go get animal. Military. Let's get our trainees here. Equip. Assign uniform. Metal armor. If you can use it, use it. Shift enter. Squad. A, you are now active. Move. Moving our trainees in. Let's hope it's enough. That many Blendex, I don't think are... Yeah, he just dodged down into a pit. Does backfire on us. That's why we don't want to make it too deep. Team, we're gonna need some more people. I am for the emergency draft. Alrighty, got a couple already options here. I'll drop down, fisherman, tailor. Bring that uh, hammer in there. Control teams, we still need a couple more as well, so we'll see. Ooh, 
Oof. What are we down to? 163. Uh, Putrid Blendex. They're Trap Avoid. So none of our traps are going to work. They killed all of our dogs already. Bows are ineffective on them. We're finding that out. And it's pretty grisly. Oof. None of our doors are doing very good against the putrid Blendex. Blendex are well armed. Oh. Down to 139. I have a feeling somebody's made it into our base. Oh yeah, it's a slaughter. No, there's no doubt there. But that's the price we pay for not. Yep, he's right down here killing everybody up. Oof. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. Six more left. And most of our guys are in a hospital. Military. Trainees. Almost everybody is dead in the trainees. So, not going good. The tantrum happening. We're getting butchered. What is this putrid Blendex name? Nothlegon, the two, enter. That's it. After all that, we've knocked out a tooth and bruised their leg. Yeek. View. Inventory. Yep. Not good. Let's see here. Assault team. Let's get some other people in here. Go, go. Let's see if we can get in. Don't think we're gonna make it though. We are down to 108 dwarves, so our death toll now is at least 70. Oof. Not good. Pause. Kill. Let's see if we can get this one guy down. This guy's gonna be legendary, that's for sure. Let's get this guy's name just so we don't forget here. I wanna. If we lose this fortress, we'll check World Gen and see how well he did. Because when we do the next fortress, uh, the timeline advances, I think, two years. T H A G E L O T B E M B U L R I N U L. So we'll check him if we wipe out. Ooh, I think we got something. Yep, we killed him. Who's left? Uh, 
unit list. Others. Two. So, military. Assault team. We lost a lot of people in that assault. There's that. Squad. F kill list. Let's take out this guy C. Enter. Oof. We'll see what happens. I can't imagine why he's throwing a tantrum. We went from 190 some odd dwarves to 90. It's a slaughter. It's a massacre. The sheer amount of blood is insane. We literally, our prison has a, the hallway is clogged. <laughs> the hallway is actually clogged with bodies. act of desperation. Dwarf, release the vampire. If we're going, we're taking the Blendex with us. Even if I have to let the vampire loose. Military. Assault team. Somewhere in this list is the Blood Lord. Okay, Blood Lord. You let yourself out of there and you go get some steel equipment. Let's see. F. Well, if we're lucky, and this is our last act of desperation. That vampire will go pick up some steel equipment, get himself armored up, and then end up ripping the guy in half. Overpowered blind deck. That would be down to 62 dwarves. It's not going good. Some more people in. Oh, the blood. No, oh, he's gone completely berserk. He's fighting a duck. There we are. Just too fast. <whistles> There's so much grisly death on here, I can't even see a little guy. Down to 
51. Is that our Blood Lord? Looks okay. about right. Picking up uh, equipment off of dead bodies, it looks like. Ew. Who is this? This is our Blood Lord. He's got an iron shield and a silver spear and no armor. <laughs> He's running around naked. Real <laughs> smart. Oh. foolish enough to go into a prison, we could lock him in the prison. No. We're running out of dwarves fast, we're down to 35. This guy's gonna be really famous. Wait. Oh, are you in there? No, you stepped back out. Hmm. Uh, I think we're gonna get lucky enough to get him in a. Two putrid blend decks rampaging around, hopefully chasing a guy into a cell. No. Oof, that kid bought it. Down to 29. Trying to fill out the last of the squad. Oof. This is an absolute gore fest. But ultimately, just weren't able to get an army up and running good enough. Don't nope, go in the room. Go in the room. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. Military! We are running out of doors fast. Is gone. Bew. Tail is broken. Let's see here. Let's see. No. Let's see here. Oof. Down to twenty one. I think we're past the point of no return here, but we're going to ride it out and see. If anything, what it does, are you going to restart a new fort? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the, the, the reason I like and I don't mind losing a fortress is that this uh, Nalthan God Beltham Rindlu 
is going to be part of history. And all of the dwarves that have died here will be part of the world gen history. And then it's going to move forward, I think, two or three years. So we'll scout out another place build a new fortress and the cool thing is is all that's happened in this fortress will be part of the world's history and what we'll do once this is done processing through is we're gonna do a quick step aside we're gonna find our fortress uh, which should be pretty easy to find it will be metropolis and then cannon guard larger larg and we'll take a look at how history looked at it so oh yeah yeah, that's as they said, losing is fun, and you really have to take kind of a an approach that it's not about successfully having a fortress; it's about writing a good history along with the fortress. We couldn't reclaim this fortress if we really wanted to, because the moment we do, those two forgotten beasts will be on the surface more than likely, and then we'll get you know killed in that process. So, but on the plus side, um, we got eleven dwarves left they'll probably kill that vampire. So, uh, that'll be one less vampire in the world gen to contend with. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo. Oof. Alrighty, let's do a follow here. Uh, Alright, last two guys here. Um, I'm going to do an alt uh, print screen here real quick. Bring up paint, control V, and I'm going to save this so we just have their names handy. There. So we'll know those two that we can find them in World Gen. And we'll go C and F. Oof. Amidst all the carnage, the Blood Lord becomes the mayor. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Woo! Just a, just a massacre in the entrance. The stench. Oh, what a, just a horrible sight and yet fun at the same time. So, we gave it our all. We did as best as we could without sealing up the fortress, which, again, just makes it too easy. If we had a drawbridge and a lever, we would have just sealed the place up, and it would have been extraordinarily boring. So um, the next fortress, we might uh, set up a seal-up procedure or something like that. It depends. With the blend X, though, because we know that they're trap avoid, and was it... Uh, it scrolled too far. Somebody wanted to do a magma tunnel or something like that. We could create a flood tunnel. And if we get putrid blend X, we could have a secondary entrance. We seal the main one, open the secondary one, have all the blend X come in, seal it, flood it, drown them, and then we can handle them that way. So, yeah, it's possible. I mean, he's in the military. He should be running around gathering up equipment right now. But speaking of which, we got to get the rest of everybody in the assault team here. Just because we want them to charge to their death. The only thing is, it'll take a while for them to kill off all the kids. We got seven dwarves left. We're back where we started population wise. Ooh. So let's specify. Yeah, you're already set to kill that one guy, so. Can't even see through the haze of death. Yep, the Blood Lord has been struck down. Six dwarves left. Salt team. So there's three kids left and three adults. Let's see how long this takes. Okay. Now one thing that can also happen, which I've had happen very rarely, 
Um, if a necromancer in world gen comes across this place, he can animate these bodies and we can end up fighting these dead bodies under rare circumstances. That's a possibility as well. Uh, unlikely, but possible. Okay, we're down one more adult. Looks like he's heading downstairs to finish off the kids. This will be easier. I think it's Durin. Dura, whatever his name is here. C, F. Nope, it's the other guy. Zag. C, F. Oh, the guy's just hanging out up here. Unit. What are. Okay, we've got the mayor. He's resting. Really? You're sleeping through this? Hold on here. B. Customize. Nickname. Yeah, you're Nero. You're gonna sit there and fiddle while Rome burns. Let that go into world gen. The last male adult survivor of our fortress. Kids oh, that's why he's resting. He's in the hospital. And I'm assuming that the goblins are going to take their sweet time coming down there. He's going to eventually die of thirst no matter what. <sighs> I think this might take too long. At the rate they're going because they're not moving downstairs at all. Throwing temper tantrum, plenty of chickens. But the blend decks aren't doing anything. Well, let's do this. Shift X. Remove. Remove. We'll set the animals free. That stirs up the blend decks enough. It'll be hilarious if we get a migration wave out of this. Or for that matter, um, let's turn the alert off. We'll turn the alert off and see what happens here. So what are you after? Hmm, I don't know. This is an interesting stall. Interesting. It's, um, there's some uh, artist who does uh, royalty free music. Everybody uses his stuff these days. Um, I can never remember his name though. Um, he's the he pro they use his soundtrack in the SoundSense program. They use it a lot in different places. Not a lot of people do royalty free music, so very odd. And one blend deck just sitting out, hanging out. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anywhere. I think we're going to let it go. Let's see here. Escape. And we'll succumb to the evasion. Yes. Alrighty. That's going to do its world gen thing. I'm going to switch this over to monitor capture so we can go and do our little export here. Here 
your strength has been broken. 260 units going into world gen. Ding, 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 boom. Kevin McLeod, yep, that's the gentleman. here. Alrighty, so we need to export. We'll go start playing. Legends mode. And actually, there's a trick I forgot I'm going to do real quick. We're going to hop out here. We're going to go start playing. Door Fortress. And we're just going to do something here real quick. We're just going to settle here temporarily. Where is this? Uh, yeah, terrifying, doesn't matter. Embark, yes, whatever, play now, we don't care. Come in here, escape, abandon fortress immediately, boom. All right, and the reason we did that is we're shifting the time forward again. That'll let uh, some of that world gen work out a little bit here. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Well, that is loading. I am going to computer raid door fortress legends viewer. Get that prepped. Start playing legends. Alrighty. Let this load up. And we're going to take a look and see how this uh, plays out. First thing we do is we do D export map, standard biome. And I'll do 256 columns because that's how big the map was. So this should be really an interesting read. Um, when you lose a fortress like that, it, it pays a lot of times to just kind of go back and read through. Uh, next is we'll do the, I do it anyways, but P for export. And now here comes the lengthy part, X for the XML dump. And I move my cursor around here a little bit just so we get that kind of gray. This program's not responding response. And then when that's done, we'll know. Doesn't take a terribly large amount of time, but it can be a few minutes. And what we're going to do is we'll go through, find the site history, and uh, we'll just take a browse around and see what happened to some of our uh, invaders and dwarves and things like that, and how history uh, looks back at it. I'm more interested in poor Nothel Ganlot Belmul Rinmul, or whatever his name was. That was the one blend deck there towards the end that we killed off. After he had killed about a, oh, I don't know, 50 of our dwarves or so. We'll take a look. And again, we got about an hour here before I wrap it up, so I like to get uh, a good solid three hours in and then bust it up into three videos. So, looks like video three will be uh, us kind of going through this. All right, so we're done there. We can minimize this for now. We're going to go to Legends Viewer. Yep, all our dwarves are dead. And we're going to go here. And we'll come up to our Lazy Noob deal, Dwarf Fortress. And we're going to look at the Region 1. And we want the map that was generated today, which is, uh, what, is it? what is the date today? 28th. And we want the world graphic. Alrighty, loading. Blendex will remember him forever. Yeah, he's gonna be. He should be pretty famous. He just 
he and his crew just slaughtered uh, damn near 200 dwarves, so um, it'll be interesting to see how that looks in World Gen. Now the question is, is do I remember which uh, which group of dwarves I was? Um, I don't know if I was the soaked picks. Let's take a look. Nope, not Metropolis, so we can go back. We weren't the soaked picks. The Virtuous Axe, perhaps? Nope, no Metropolis there. What about the Fountains of Rasping? No, it doesn't look like we're the Fountain of Rasping. The Irons of Driving? Pointy hammers, abandoned at 300. No, that's the one we just made. That was one of our decoy ones. The oily gravels. Oh yeah, here we are. This is us right here. I'm thinking that's what happened to us here. Are we channel swaps? Page two putrid go building decks, one goblin. Yep, this is our fort. So, Channel Swamps uh, is a mountain hall. There was our invasions, and the last one, the boring blotches. That is a lot of deaths. There's all of the deaths that happened in our fortress. We're more interested in the event log. There's Washington. A lot of spammy stuff in here. The smooth fiend. Those are the elephants. Ah, here are the boring blotch. And this invasion was called the conflict of targeting. Led to death. And we were looking for a blend deck by the name of Nolf. He should be down here towards the end. Track down my blend deck. Oh, they're probably going to be in a different language, that's right. Horn Sweat. Dorkman really bled to death, slain, horn sweat, horn sweat. We should have one guy. Let's take a look at the conflict of targeting itself. So, here's the invasion. Bled to death. Hmm. Let's see if it was horn sweat. Wow, there's his kill list. So, battles, flayed assault. He was unnotable until ours. Deaths, 194. Good grief. And he lived on, so he didn't get offed by anybody else in the intermittent time. That was Horn Sweat, and there should be another guy here. Tattoo Stole. He's got 194. He did just fine. So he's still out there in World Gen somewhere. He didn't get offed. Uh, let's see here. 14 kills. So we killed 14 of them. None of them were notable. So the, the three guys that survived were the only ones that really kind of were interesting. Here we are. Flight Assault, Kurt Bazoo. Alrighty. Victor. Loss. Glumbliss died. Blendex survived. Unnamed Surrender. Journal Scroll. Assist Buster. He led the attack. So we did kill their commander, oddly. Bled 
to death, slain by the dwarf commander. So our commander did kill their commander. That just didn't prompt a flee, so that was pretty rough. Our commander, how did you do? You uh, you killed the Minotaur, and you took out four Blendex, and then you died a horrible grisly death. So... Well, that's as good as we can do. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, but we paid the price for not having a sealable fortress. That was best we could do under the circumstances. Again, it would have been way too easy to seal the fortress, but it's part of history. There's the 180 losses we sustained. So... Not too bad, but we could have done better. So, the one thing that we can do is if we do a new fortress, do we want to represent the oily uh, gravel again? Here's our current king, or queen for that matter, Bust Whip. And his goal is immortality, so it's just a matter of time before he ends up a vampire. So, the story we can read out of that is we could set up a new fortress to help him research his immortality. Ooh, creepy. Alright, how else? Let's go back to our summary. So we have six beak wolves, six dark stranglers, five dwarves, five elves, five ferric elves, six frogmen, five goblins. Here's the gorillas. Uh, six humans, six kobolds, and there's the putrid blendex again. And the boring of blotches is what did us in. Where are they located? So they are east of whatever that is and south of that mountain range. You may want to avoid them. Just call it a hunch. Battle sibs. Hmm. Be good territory in there be dangerous for us, especially if we go back. And over here might be of interest. Who's up here? Goblins. Goblins we can handle. Humans we're allied with. Humans. And what is that? Elves. War elephants. So those are the war elephants that were probably invading us. And sunny notched elves. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, Enough lamenting our horrible and grisly defeat. Let's take a look here. Start playing. Dwarf Fortress. Mm, doo -doo -doo. Find. Let's go with a high savagery. Medium. Fluxstone, no aquifer, river yes, and shallow and deep. And enter. So what we'll end up doing on this next round of uh, Fortress, I think what we'll try to do is we'll try earlier to have two different um, entrances. We'll have our normal trap entrance, which is pretty easy and quick to set up. And then we'll have the trap avoid uh, entrance and that one will probably set up to a uh, flood we'll have a flood tunnel kind of a setup so we can drown the blend deck I think that'll be the easiest solution um, can we get well if we use if we use DF reveal we can probably early enough build up a, a lava trap but it's that's iffy that's a lot of digging and a lot of uh, glass pipes. So we would need sand. You can't use wooden pipes because the lava will light it all on fire. So if we do pick a site, uh, we'll need a site with sand. So that means probably a warmer climate. Um, probably hot. Uh, the nice advantage of hot, we don't have to worry about um, you know, water freezing and things like that. Uh, but we're going to go for higher savagery, so we might run into the issue of giant eagles. So we'll have to check the wiki 
on our site selection to make sure that we're not settling in an area that has giant eagles because it will be a very short-lived fortress then. And it looks like I do have two noted locations as well, so... We'll revisit those two possibly. It just depends. Hmm. Fortress, where the only instruction manual is lose with style. Yeah, flood tunnels work pretty good. It's just... try not to use them. I try to let the military do its job and things like that. But I think uh, looking back, what we probably should have done is just gotten everybody an iron first rather than steel. That probably would have saved us a little bit of time. That probably would have helped a little bit better. We also could have probably generated uh, some bone uh, armor just as a stopgap. So... But what I really like to do is I like to have silver on the map. If I can get silver on the map, then I, I tend to make silver warhammers, and I don't have as much trouble with things like blend X because the blunt damage just scrambles them like an egg inside the armor. So, but you got to work with what you got to work with. All right, so here's our site selection. Let's explore and see what we've got here. can't see my cursor because I'm colorblind. I can't tell that. There it is. All right, so there's our orange here. Um, these are warm enough for some scorching. Yeah, they're a little too far south. We're going to go up a little bit north here. We need hot. Um, what do we got over here? This is tropical coniferous there, shrubland, coniferous, and we got way up here. This is getting to be a little too cool, warm. We went down here. What about um, grassland, sand, desert? Well, problem with desert though is we also have the risk of giant uh, venomous scorpions. So, not a lot of trees either. Let's see, what we got over here. Jungle of Wack. Ooh. Tropical moist. I do like tropical moist. That gives us a lot of creatures we can capture. Giant tigers. What's the maximum embark size in terms of dimensions here at embark time? Uh, well, let's take a look here. Right now it's 4x4. Four four. Uh, we'll move it around here so we can see what we're doing. So if you look up here, there's our 4x4. Four four. We could probably go... We, we can do the whole thing, which I would really not recommend. The amount of memory usage would be ridiculous, so... Oops. And down one there. So we'll come off and back up here. There we are. This gives us clay. I don't...